Mike, you're not helping. You're not helping because I just read earlier exactly what I said. So, and this is this is the game plan of the media. And this is what they do. They try and cancel. Aaron Rodgers speaking on the number one sports network with one of the top three biggest names in sports media thinks he's being canceled. I've been ready for three years. I've been denied for three years. When we remember a certain athlete who plays Rodgers' very position that was actually canceled. Remember him? This is their game plan. They use these words to cancel people and they went and ran with this. Rogers, a man with an ego as frail as Jason Whitlock's, cries cancel culture, yet to this day has the loudest megaphone in media to spew nonsense. There's a lot of things that need to change. Uh, one, one specifically is police brutality. There's people being murdered unjustly and not being held accountable. Cops are getting paid leave for killing people. That's not right. Meanwhile, ex-49er Colin Kaepernick was silenced, bullied, and betrayed because he stuck up for innocent Americans being unjustifiably killed at the hands of police. This has something to do with the Epstein list that came out? A lot of people, including Jimmy Kimmel, are really hoping that doesn't happen. Ah, please! <laughs> All right! As a representative of the New York Jets and on ESPN's airwaves, he implied late-night talk show host Jimmy Kimmel was on the... Schmepstein flight logs. To reiterate, an active player called someone a PEDO. We want to make sure that we come out, we show everyone I can still play, still throw it, uh, and really just looking for an opportunity for a door to open, uh, to have that be a pathway to be able to get back in there, get a starting job, and uh, lead a team to a championship. Yet a silent protest gets one banned from the National Football League. There's a lot of uh, yes. old uh, old papers and files and different things about interactions that Navy pilots have had, especially Navy pilots, I believe, with uh, uh, unidentified flying objects. Um, so this is not surprising. Obviously, there was uh, some sort of Chinese spy balloon that was up in the air. Interesting uh, timing on everything. You're saying, oh, looky here. Is that what you just said? Could be some of that, yeah. Did you hear about the Epstein client list uh, about to be released too? There's some files that are, have some names on it that might be uh, getting released pretty soon. You know, Maxwell was the only you know person ever, ever uh, convicted answer. of of uh, trafficking and nobody who was involved in the trafficking ever went to jail, so. <laughs> Nothing to see here. Rogers, a proud conspiracy theorist, opines balloons and aliens are a distraction from a list we knew existed years prior. More than anything, we're just looking for a chance to walk through a door. I handle the rest from there. But this dude? Suddenly it's keep politics out of sports and your opinions to yourself incredible. He, uh, you know, mentioned uh, ivermectin being horse based and pushed that whole narrative for a long time. He gave a platform to one of the biggest uh, spreaders of misinformation during the COVID times, Dr. Fauci. On the COVID front, one is anti-science and has helped more folks get lost in the sauce. Black and brown communities are being disproportionately devastated by COVID-19 because of hundreds of years of structural racism. The polar opposite, actually helping people during the dark days of the pandemic. People are always like, yeah. people are always like, you know, why are you still talking about COVID? Like, why don't you just move on? It's ridiculous. I'm like, well, let's see what happened. Um, they locked everybody up forever. Uh, it was supposed to be a couple, a couple weeks, right? They locked everybody up. Hundreds of thousands of businesses closed and never opened again. If only he used this energy towards something beneficial, like... People of color have been targeted by police. If we have these conversations, there's a better understanding where both sides are coming from. And if we reach common ground and can understand what everybody's going through, we can really affect change and make sure that everybody's tre treated equally and has the same freedom. Not a hard message to get behind, Aaron. Speak on it. Instead of having this victim complex, why don't you? It's known for years. Like I'm saying, and Nick, that 59 better be jet green. That's all I'm saying. Interesting. Well, yeah, well, unless it's Colts Blue. One touts conspiracy theories about the National Football League, an entity he is an employee of, a being rigged. Meanwhile. So we're waiting for the 32 owners, the 32 teams, Roger Goodell, all of them to stop running. Stop running from the truth. 
Stop running from the people. A dude who stood up for human rights and was lambasted for his inclusive stances was ousted by billionaire owners plus the president of the United States. There's a lot of great clinics and uh, you know the, the alphabet gangsters uh, who control a lot of the uh, uh, medicine, uh, I say that very loosely, uh, uh, that gets um, are cleared. You know, aren't exactly uh, on board with, uh, you know, giving a lot of clearance to some of the stuff. The Alphabet Mafia is an indication of homophobia. FS1's Nick Wright has gone on the record saying he believes Rodgers does not even know the meaning. The quarterback hasn't clarified. It's a stance of being anti-gay. Let's be clear about it. Meanwhile. We're out here. We're ready to play. We're ready to go anywhere. My agent Jeff Nally is ready to talk to any team. I interview with any team at any time. I've been ready, I'm staying ready, and I'll continue to be ready. Colin Kaepernick, to this day, awaits his opportunity.